All right, guys, this is the uh, 68 GMC that we're going to be putting the generator on. I wanted to give you a look at what it looks like here in the, in, in the uh, grill. See, I've got all kinds of room. And it's going to go in between here on this side. The generator is going to lay across that bottom. And the uh, bubbler is going to mount to that. That support bracket right there for the grill and this is the motor now you know why my screen name is HHO hot rod because this is a hot rod vehicle and uh, like I said it's been balanced blueprinted and uh, the computer numbers whenever they typed all the stuff in it said it was equivalent to 400 horsepower and uh, it's a fun little motor we've had a lot of fun with it so uh, this is what the generator is going on and I'll be back with the bubbler and the uh, generator install we're going to walk through it all alright gang this is the new 1968 hybrid vehicle now running on partial water we got the uh, bubbler visible, but the uh, generator we painted black because I didn't like the way it looked sitting in the grill. I'll uh, walk up here and do a walkthrough for you. This is the generator laying flat in the front between the uh, grill and radiator. We got it grounded over here. I'm going to walk over here. The bubbler is attached to the uh, bracket that supports the uh, hood latch just used uh, stainless steel hose clamps and right over here we got our power hook up on the battery and this here is a car amplifier fuse block that we used we got 20 amp fuse in it we ain't burned it yet so that's good. And this here is a solenoid that is made to run all the time. We tried a Ford solenoid and it burned it up. It got too hot and fried it. But we're trying this one out. It's designed to run all the time. And if it works out, I'll let you all know what part it is. I bought it at O'Reilly's. So we'll go from there on that. But it's just a simple setup. And this, this wire right here. I have run into a toggle switch on my dash, so if uh, I ever need to shut the system off, I can just flick that switch and uh, it shuts everything off, but if I turn it on and leave it on, it turns on with my key of the truck and then it'll come on automatically when the truck starts, and then when I turn the key off, it shuts off, so I thought that was a pretty nifty little setup there. Here's the motor. I know it's shocking to see a, a, a high performance small block Chevy uh, I wasn't looking for the fuel mileage on this I was looking to uh, convert it from 93 to octane to, to 87 octane because that 93 octane is 20 cents more per gallon so I'm saving money just by doing that and I don't drive this all the time, I just drive it to car shows and stuff, but still, I'd like to get a little cheaper gas in it. But the uh, carburetor, when we first did our uh, fuel run on it, we uh, were getting 11 miles to gallon with it, the generator on or off. It didn't matter. That's without adjusting anything. We just hooked it straight up to the motor and, and tried it out. Now we've turned the the uh, needle valves in a half a turn what we did is we turned them in until the motor got ready to die then backed it out a half a turn which would be, be uh, it was a full turn in to get it to die then a half a turn back to smooth it out so that's something to think about on that and this is a holly 780 vacuum secondary it's got 70 jets in the front and uh, 78 jets in the back so if I open it up and floor it it's gonna get with the program and
get with the uh, sucking gas too. So, but this is what we've been working on. We got it on. We've we've run it, and it does run on it, and it works pretty good. I'm very impressed with with the uh, throttle response I got off of it. It it really made it a lot more peppy taking off. So we'll start it up and let you hear it. Here we. We're going to start it up here in a second. Dad's getting ready to get in the truck. We'll fire it up. Made the, the motor got a deeper tone to it on the exhaust. Yes! Yeah. 